Problems with equations. Find the density in grams per cubic centimeter of a metal cylinder with a mass of 8.3 gram, a length of 1.94 centimeters, and a radius of 0.55 centimeters. For a cylinder, the volume equals pi r squared l. In this problem, we are given the information that we have a mass of 8.3 grams. We have a length L equals 1.94 centimeters and we have a radius R that is equal to 0 0.55 centimeter and we we're asked to find the density D in grams per cubic centimeter. In our conceptual plan, we realize that density is made up of mass and volume. We are given the mass, so we're going to have to calculate the volume using the formula for the volume of a cylinder. So we're going to be taking the information given regarding the length and the radius and using that to calculate a volume. Secondarily, we will take the mass that we have and the calculated volume and use that to get the density. So there are two relationships A and B that we will be employing. So let's list those so they're handy. First of all, relationship A is the volume of a cylinder. So the volume that we will use is pi times the radius r squared times the length. Relationship B is simply the definition of density. Density is mass over volume. So we're ready to carry out the solution to this problem. Volume is pi r squared times the length. 
So this equals pi times r squared, which is r is 0 0.55 centimeters squared. And our length is 1.94 centimeter. Now this equals 1.8436 cubic centimeters. Looking at our data, however, we realize that uh, we have two significant figures in our radius, three significant figures in our length, so we recognize that this number is really only good to two significant figures. So we will underline the 8. We won't round off yet to avoid uh, round off error in our final answer. So now we have our volume and we're ready to calculate the density. Density is mass over volume. The mass that we're given is 8.3 grams and our volume is 1.8436 cubic centimeters. So this gives us an answer on our calculator that will read 4.50206 grams per cubic centimeter. But once again, we realize that we have to round this to two significant figures. And so our final answer is 4.5 grams per cubic centimeter. As always, we want to check to make sure that our answer makes sense. First thing is we look at the units. We were looking for an answer in grams per cubic centimeter and our units are grams per cubic centimeter. Looking at the magnitude, 4.5 grams per cubic centimeter, this is reasonable for a metal that is uh, one of the lighter metals in the periodic table. So we feel confident that our answer is correct.